Being in the middle of a pandemic, we've come to learn the importance of the immune system and the role it plays in our general health, mentally and physically. But something not many of you may know is beta glucans and how they contribute to a healthier immune system. So today we chat to dietitian Kelly Schultz about beta glucans and how they help to support the immune system. And Nicole Austin, you know, as soon as we have these conversations, I think it's so important to call you back on board as our health correspondent. It's great to be here and for discussion like this, there's so many myths and misconceptions yeah. about a healthy immune system and what the immune system is and we can bust some of those with the experts. Enter the experts. I mean, Kelly, welcome back Thank to The Loft. So it's much. always so lovely to have you. Now, so many of us do understand the importance of the immune system, but a lot of us don't know what it is and how it then helps us live a healthier life. Yeah, the immune system is a network of cells and tissues and proteins and organs in our body that all work together. It's quite complex, but essentially what they're doing is two things. The one is that they're scanning our system all the time, constantly, and detecting when there is something pathogenic in our system or when there's a toxic substance that our body can't handle. And it will recruit immune cells to gather around that pathogen or that substance, and they'll really surround it and break it down or kill it and then eliminate it from our bodies for us. Okay, Very wow. clever. So the other thing it's doing while it's in that process is learning how to handle those pathogens for the next time they might invade. So the immune system creates these nice clever cells called antibodies that then exist in our bodies after that infection. So next time we have a better defense system. I love that. Those were some beautiful visuals, scanning yes. and recruiting. <laughs> I can see the whole picture. Tell me, what are some of the things that contribute towards a healthy immune system? Yeah, our immune system has to be looked at as a holistic system, really. It's really complex, and what we struggle to do is find things in isolation that will do something specific with the immune system. So research around the immune system is, I would say, in its infancy while we're trying to figure out the full complexity of it. Uh -huh. So what we do know is that when we look at it as a complete entity and we're looking at the health of our system altogether, so generally when we're working towards full health, we tend to boost the immune system at the same time. So what that means for me as a dietitian, when you're looking at nutrition, if there's malnutrition or a deficiency in specific nutrients, that can contribute to a poorly functioning immune system. Mm. That's not to say that everybody has to take specific nutrients, but it helps to ensure that you're getting all the micronutrients that you need, and if there is a deficiency, to rectify that. Yeah. And then also you're looking at general health from a lifestyle perspective as well. So things like mm. excessive stress, not getting enough exercise, and really just not handling your health very well. So if you're always using things like excessive amounts of alcohol or smoking, that can impair your immune function just because your body's under more stress. I think wow. it's a lot of the things that we know, but we don't actually implement because we don't think about them. All these threads tie together. And how they do speak to each other. I mean, something that you have already touched on and something we've all heard about in Zanzi are these natural immune supports such as vitamin C, zinc, and just so many others. But something that we're less familiar with are these beta-glucans. So can you please just break down what they are? Yes, beta-glucans are so interesting. They're, they're actually a type of fiber, they're a type of soluble fiber that's really a prebiotic for us. So when we eat them, the, micro, mi the microbiome in our gut helps, they digest it for us. And so it's food for the bacteria that live inside our guts. Wow. But what we've found already with research is that beta-glucans are linked to things like lowering cholesterol. So they really play a significant role in that. And there's now research also that beta-glucans can help us to boost or or stimulate or trigger an immune response. Wow. That's incredible. And I think a lot of people miss that link between the gut and the immune system. And now it seems like beta-glucans are playing a major role in that connection. It does seem that way, although we don't know, again, we don't know because the research is in its infancy, I would say. So people are still trying to determine the exact forms of the beta-glucans because they're actually found in quite a lot of different foods and substances. So things like oats and barley contain beta-glucans and those are relatively easy for us to eat. Then there's specific mushrooms that also contribute it and things like algae and then also from supplements. So they come in different forms and again, with research, you have to take one form and analyze it against one effect. Yeah. But what they've seen overall is that Generally speaking, these beta-glucans can increase the activity of our immunity. So in bodies where there's some sort of compromise of immunity, so maybe extreme stress or even undergoing cancer treatment, it can help to use beta-glucans to stimulate an immune response. 
Kelly, the dietitian, always coming through, helping us understand better terms, phrases, but things that are very important to us living those healthier, better lives. I love hearing the latest news and um, developments in health, and especially now from a dietitian. It's such a nice new angle. I must imagine you look at ingredients in your kitchen and actually scan them and identify <laughs> what's in them and how they benefit your life. <laughs> Listen, right. I'm all about it. But something I'm also all about is giving away some ching, ching, ching. You know, it's also all about the money sometimes. And that helps us essentially go through the very difficult parts of our lives. And, you know, Kelly, we've been having this incredible competition in collaboration with Emmy Wenzer, where we give away 5,000 Rand a week for five weeks. And, girl, these incredible stories of survival are so inspirational. Wouldn't you agree, Nicole? Yeah, it's so great. I think every South African is a survivor, especially after 2020. But oh, yeah. to hear the stories coming through, it's actually inspiring. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Mzansi, do you have a survival story? Then we want to hear from you. From falling off a tree, a snake bite, or even escaping your neighbor's crazy dog, we want to hear your story. Imuenza is giving away 5,000 Rand a week for five weeks. And all you have to do is to reply to the Imuenza competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page or Twitter page and tell us your survival story and what protected you using that hashtag Imuenza. Competition closes tonight at midnight and terms and conditions can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Help support your immune system for your next big adventure with Imuenza.